Yesterday marked the 66th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball. It was in 1947, not far from here at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn, when he took the field for the first time. The first African American to play baseball in the Major Leagues. Well, yesterday was an off day for the Yankees and the Diamondbacks, so they didn't get the chance to celebrate on the day. But tonight, every player on both teams is going to wear the number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier 66 years ago yesterday. Now, yesterday was an off day, as I said, and yesterday I took the opportunity to see the movie 42, which I highly recommend. For me, it was, a, well, well, a history lesson, if you will, of what our country was like back in 1947, as well as what Major League Baseball was like in those days. And for Jackie Robinson, well, it wasn't very good. Uh, he had to uh, endure, if that's the word I should use, endure a lot of insults, a lot of uh, letters that he got. People wanted to kill him. They didn't want him to be in the major leagues. Branch Rickey, the GM, and the owner of the Dodgers picked the right man to get the job done. Jackie Robinson didn't fight back. He had to hold his temper, if you will. He was a very proud man, and he got the job done. And all of us are beneficiaries because of that. When you look at how far we have come since 1947, you just look around. Major League Baseball is now a worldwide entity. You have players from all over the world. And it all started back in 1947 on April the 15th. Thank you, Jackie.